Hi everyone, Joshua here with Barista Warehouse. Today, we're gonna to check out the Fellow Stag Stovetop Kettle. Now, most things that look this good sacrifice some functionality, but it's not the case here, and the Stag Stovetop Kettle is a fantastic looking pour over kettle with an inbuilt thermometer for precision whilst brewing coffee. But it is just a kettle too, so it heats water up and can be used as your go-to kettle for anything that requires hot water, like tea, soup, or noodles. Now, the Stag comes in two separate sizes of 600 mils and one liter, and I would say if it's just coffee you're brewing, then the 600 100 mils is fine, but for everything else, a one litre is a good capacity to have. Now there are several different colours to choose from as well, so if you're not fond of Fellow's recognisable matte black, then there's also white, silver and copper. And on occasions there are limited editions like the Stag Graphite. And if you're shopping for a new pour over kettle, then you can find all of these in this link up above. Now the Stag kettle is made with 304 grade stainless steel, so they will work on most induction cooktops, as well as electrical, gas, and ceramic. And the noticeable differences to the Stag kettle are the shape of the handle, a unique shape that looks awkward, but is actually very ergonomic. So you're not fixed into one grip, and you can hold it several different ways, depending on what's comfortable for you. It's also well balanced for flow control when pouring, especially needed when brewing pour over coffees like the V60 or Chemex. Using the gooseneck spout, the flow control on the Stag is superb, and it will pour quickly or slowly without any issues. And that tapered end to the spout also stops any unwanted dripping from messing up the perfect pour. So for a kettle that has zero plastics used on the inside of it, the one other great thing about this kettle is that it has an inbuilt temperature probe piercing through the top of the lid. You will have to fill it at least half the capacity of the kettle for the thermometer to reach the water and give you a reading. But that analog display has a red zone marked out which identifies the ideal temperature range for brewing coffee. So you wanna remove it off the stove when the needle falls within this zone for the best flavor results in the cup. Now whilst the exterior of the kettle will get hot during heating, you do also wanna make sure that the size of the element that you place the kettle on does not extend past the diameter of the base of the kettle, or otherwise that handle does tend to heat up as well and can even be possibly melt if you have flames touching it. So you wanna to look to be placing the stag on the smallest burner possible. But the actual temperature stability of this kettle surprised me a lot. And through a quick test, I was able to keep the water within the red zone of heat in the kettle off the stove easily over five minutes, which presented a great opportunity for brewing more than one coffee back to back without having to place the kettle back on the stove and bring it up to temperature. Now the thermometer is calibrated in ice water. It is also removable and can be cleaned to be put back into place quite easily. But the Stag kettle will work just fine without the thermometer too. And that's the fellow Stag stovetop kettle for you. Aesthetically pleasing, ergonomically well designed, and functional so much that you can achieve a fairly consistent brewing temperature for coffee every time, which makes a huge plus to your morning brew routine. So if you have any questions on the Fellow Stag stovetop kettle, then throw them in the comment section down below and we'll get straight back to you. Don't forget to hit that little bell icon on your screen and then that way you stay notified when we bring out new videos, just like this every week. If you've enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.